Hello and good evening, everybody. <laughs> we are streaming now. Thank you for your patience. I was, um, I had some troubles with the technical issues. So thank you, everybody. So you are already writing me messages that you can't wait to join this club, uh, <clears throat> to join this course. So thank you very much. And today is the third part of our three days course, uh, three days, three animals. Uh, so yes, please write me that you can hear me, you can see me, everything is already working. I had troubles with my front camera. I uh, somehow couldn't turn it on, but now it is working again. So thank you very much that you uh, have waited a few minutes for it. So sometimes there are some um, issues what I can influence and I also don't understand that computer that much, but now it's working. So please write me that you can hear me, you can see me and also where you are watching from as usual, as you already know, if you are attending for the third time today, but maybe you are attending for the first time. So just let me know if you maybe you are uh, already well, or if you are for the first time here, if you are uh, working and creating for the first time today with me, so maybe um, it is so, so right me. So, hey, Fro Greece, Florida, those <laughs> technical difficulties. Yes, Lisa, I would just, uh, the perfect would be I would just sit here on my table in Prague and uh, work and everybody from all around the world could join me without these technical issues but it, somehow it's not possible uh so Magina from germany hi hello deutschland seeing and hearing nens jen hello anna from canada hi all good uh, gerja from holland hi hi everything is great thank you perfect karen from tennessee hi hey being early <laughs> Yes, so now it is working. So Kim also uh, people from YouTube. So now I hope that we are connected also there are 50 people. Great, 53 coming in loud clear. Hello, Anna. It's fine from South Africa. South Africa. This is my first time. Nance, hi, welcome. Uh, yes, already people are welcoming you. Lore from Chain Wyoming. Hello from Romania. Hi. First time able to be here live. Show sure have loved following your notes. Aurora, Ontario, Canada. Thank you. Hello, peeps. And I'm listening from Wales today. Wow, great. I didn't seem to get live chat. We go out and come back. Oh, okay. Florida. Hi, Luan. Welcome to Phoenix, New York. For Phoenix, New York. Hello from Illinois. Noise US. Wow. Okay. So uh, for people if um, who are for the first time here, hello, I'm Anna uh, Monstrans. Um, Monstrans is also my jewelry brand and I live in Prague and I have here in the center, historical city center my atelier, what I dreamed for years about. So last year came true. And I am teaching wrapping for or many, many years. I have experienced almost 20 years because I'm doing it really since um, I was small and really uh, intensive. Um, the vibe wrapping has a historical um, basic here in other countries because it was used for repairing um, broken pots and uh, doing some stuff for a household. So this was this, um, um, it was not an art, but it was for using, it was like a useful uh, technique. So, and then uh, several years ago, I have discovered this five wrapping, this American way, or let's say the international way of uh, making it and I'm combining both techniques together and uh, like doing a <laughs> new, uh, new stuff for it and I'm author of uh, several um, ebooks and also courses uh, where I'm teaching from beginners to advanced vibe rappers and I'm in love with the dragon eyes so you can see here there um, and I really love to vibe rap dragon eyes so uh, this is just to uh, just a small uh, summary and uh, now I think we can we can begin with our course um, we have 
um, already made uh, last week butterflies I just let me switch to cameras uh, okay so you can now see big my hands and small <laughs> my face so we have uh, started with butterflies uh, where we were uh, learning how to work really gently with the wire um, because you don't need much power but much pressure for working with wire you can just like um, play uh, with the shape and um, with the form and then we were also twisting the wire together so this was the first lesson the second lesson was about uh, the dragonfly where we were already combining two uh, uh, sizes of wire uh, thicker and thinner and we were learning this I call it by myself uh, zigzag <laughs> weaving so we were making this kind of pattern to the wings and again uh, spires and uh, some beads and today we are making a cat and we are uh, combining both techniques what we were learning in the previous lesson so you have here this nice um, shapes of the cat you have also zigzag uh, technique and of course spire and what will be maybe uh, new for you is um, this shapes how to make it like um, maybe you can call uh, please can can you help me how you how you would call this form uh, this is also uh, some um, issue I'm not an English speaking uh, person not native English speaking person I have learned English on at school so uh, I'm happy if you can uh, help me with some words what I cannot um, what I cannot find points okay hello from Germany hi uh, so we call it a uh, shaft how, how you would say it yes it's ear right but I mean the form what is like a you know spitze <laughs> um, maybe some people can write me who can understand what I'm what I mean so it seems your middle has stopped might be doing internet home okay is it working again please tell me if it's working again now it works okay it's just a technique today <laughs> good again okay great uh, uh, uh. hi helen from pennsylvania helen uh, ears yes i know ears okay it's point okay the tip of the ear okay but i want to make it like this part that it's not it's not like that but it's like this so uh, this will, we will be learning. I will find out the word later, or if you, uh, if there is someone um, uh, and you know what means like spitze, spitzig, then you can you can maybe write me peak. Yes, I think it would be mm, that word. So let's begin uh, for the cat. Mm -hmm. We will need. I have brought it already with the black pen, but maybe you can see it. We will need 30 centimeters. It is approximately 11.8 inches of the uh, one millimeter wire. One millimeter is approximately is, uh, 18 gauge. And then you need 40 centimeters. It is uh, 15.7 inches of 0 0.4 or 3. It's a, um, uh, 26 gauge. So, but if you don't have exact sizes and make it just like this, you will also be able to form the cat with me. So. Uh, don't worry about it. This is just something what works for me, but uh, for you it can be, of course, a sharp, yes, sharp angle or corner would describe it well, I think. Thank you, Gertja, Gerda, yes. Not rounded, but pointed. Thank you. This is, this is that what I thank you. <laughs> So it is great because um, maybe you are learning a little bit from me by wrapping and I'm learning really well English from you. So thank you for this. 
um, English lessons. So here we are. Uh, okay, then let's cut the wire. I'm working with one millimeter or 1.2 millimeters. It is like um, 18 or 16 gauge. Yeah, and um, I am recommending for beginners only to work with copper and dead soft copper because this will be a huge um, game changer for you. And then if you uh, are learning that, then you can um, switch to uh, stainless steel or silver or some um, expensive or more hard um, or harder materials. But at the beginning, just work with copper. It's easy to bend. It's really cheap and also easy to get. So we have the 30 centimeters, um, 11.8 inches. And now we will be making this pointed um, shape and not uh, uh, what is sharp and what is not round. So, uh, we take the wire and of course you prepare it, uh, we smooth it out, take it between two fingers and work like that. So, and then you connect, connect your endings ends, and find where the half is approximately. So, and here will be our first ear. So, we take it. And I will show you something. Uh, and this is the maybe new for you, maybe not a new lesson from this uh, thing. If we need to make it pointed like that, like, right, the, make the corner sharp, sharp angle, then if we take a wire and just bend it, look how it looks like. I am not able to make it, make it if even if I press it more there is a it is a round you can see it there is not it is not sharp so um, yes I have started in the middle this is in the middle yes so it looks like that and he is in the middle is the first first year so if you just bend it over the pliers you never get the sharp and what we are learning in this lesson and what is maybe like an um, um, eye-opener for you, let's say, if you need to make this sharp, just, just take the wire and then press it like that. You close it. Okay, so, and then you open it again. And this is how you can create like this pointed um, shapes right so you take it and then you open it right so and now the wires are much more together than you would ever manage it only with pliers you just need to close it and then open it again right so and now we are making the second uh, second year of course later you can also take a file and make it and help it a little bit so you can add again this is just the basic yes we are working this is for beginners but if you are advanced you can of course take it here and if you want to have it really pointed then you just take it and make it sharper from both sides yes so this is like an upgrade just to show you we are not doing that uh, today so uh, take it and then we are like smoothing if you are uh, remember how we were working with the butterfly wings so we were like a smoothing making the um, the form so you take it like that and make he here in between the two ears so like that and then again make the second ear and we make the exactly same here we will be we, we, uh, it will be much more visible so here is the point where I am pressing the wire together 
and here is when I'm only bend it, bend it over my pliers. So you see here the difference, right? So, okay. So again, if I want to have it same, I take it, press the wire together like that. Okay. And then open it again. And this is how it works. So we have the already the top of the head and now we will be only forming uh, the head the body the tail and then making the zigzag again and of course um, adding the uh, the beat so this here we will make a little break so just please uh, write me to the comment if you are ready, just write down or okay, or I'm ready or something like that. Uh, or if you are just watching, then you can also text me like just watching or, or something. So um, I want people to catch us. So I will drink here my tea. Um, usually I'm also asking about the, what time is it at your place, uh, but um, we had it already in two previous um, streams. So uh, you are all around the world, I, I guess, world, I guess in USA you have around 2, 3 p.m. in the afternoon and here in, in Europe we have already night, so around 9 p.m., 10 p.m., depending on the time zone. So this was also interesting to, uh, to share. Okay, just watching, ready, ready, thank you, ready. Susie, Martina, Kim, Lou and Lori, ready, Lisa, ready. Uh, happy to be able to watch live. Thank you for your time, Anna. Thank you, Facebook user. I have, uh, unfortunately did not see your name. Um, if you want to, there is a link in the description of the video, you can just um, uh, just click there and allow the StreamYard is the program I'm using for this uh, because there's a I, I'm I'm here in the center and there is a main street and sometimes you can hear some noises. So I think it was a huge uh, motorbike or, or something. Yes, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it. Uh, yes, you are free 24 in the afternoon. No, no, the West Coast of North America. Okay, so now we are work. Uh, we are shaping the um, head of the cat, and again, we don't press it. We just like uh, stroke it like that. Yeah, just to be really gentle. And this is the same like what we were doing in the butterflies' uh, wings. So just form really easy easy hat yes it looks like this approximately let's say yes um i when i was inviting this tutorials uh tutorial i was like kind of struggling with the head of the cat i did many versions of the cat head with, with many versions of the head and also with the face, with the eyes or with the nose or mouth, mouth, mouth. and uh, I was not happy about it because somehow it didn't work with the eyes or it didn't work with the, with the face. So I ended up um, to have the head really easy like this and maybe for some people it could be like too minimalistic but i am really happy about the form uh, because uh, you can upgrade it anytime feel free to put their eyes or um, anything you want to put uh, to make it uh, make it more um, uh, let's say anatomic like a cat but I have decided to have the design only minimalistic like this and important for me was to um, to introduce introduce you uh, to the, this new techniques with the pointed um, and not rounded shapes so okay ready 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 let's continue so we have uh, the head is ready and now we are continue with the body like this so again from the for the both sides i am just making this round oval shape so i just take the wire and 
you can see I'm just like I'm not finding fighting with the wire I'm just like stroking like that right so okay and now you will work a little bit with the shape I like it in the bottom more round and more pointed to the to the head so make it here down so you can make the form you are so oh, it's a huge look <laughs> it's a much bigger than the uh, okay here is it so you can also make it smaller but make it as big as you want so i think this is really nice <laughs> i think this is okay and maybe we could also turn it to the whole <laughs> universally because here he's uh, like a sitting so we can turn it in many animals like okay just watching already simple to easy to learn yes and then upgrade you can uh, you can anytime so this is the form and now i would say um let's choose a bigger uh, wire like a tail and a smaller one if it's big enough to um, connect here with the body um, with, the, with the head uh, then um, choose it for the bead because now we are here in the shape and we go with one wire to the tail and with the second we will put a glass bead there or pearl or anything what you want and connect it here and we will close that so um, maybe I will make it smaller anyway so okay I think it's fine like that so then the bigger the, the longer one let's let's uh, uh, let for the um, for the tail and here we need to go okay here we will be putting here to the middle and um, turning around and so this will be maybe a little bit tricky so here is a middle so you find the middle go from here from the middle of the head through this cross and here so and then you take the wire like that and bend it okay like this so great uh, and here we will put some beads so if you want to have a collection you can use the uh, same beads what you were using for butterfly and uh, dragonfly or you can uh, you can use anything uh, anything else so I will choose something I, I was here for the bigger mm, blue uh, glass beads or also gemstones I guess but you can choose anything what you like and the important is that um, the hollow needs to be big enough so maybe this pillar I think this will look nice or you can also make more two it's up to you three <laughs> Just anything what fits for you. I am improvising now. Uh, okay, I think this is nice. I, I think I feel good free there. So here we had only one. It's also fancy. But I will go this time for free beads. So, okay. And now what we need to do is to close. So you take the wire and bend it around the cross here when the two wires is crossing it looks like that you can see here and here is a let's say loop or something and it is like holding the two wires together so um, you need approximately one centimeter for it so I will cut the wire and then I want to have it from the top you can also go from the bottom but I go from the top so first I will also putting put the wire so or like that and now it's really easy you just take it take the end and 
bend it around the wire like this. So. Okay, so you can see it's not closed yet, but you take the pliers and close it. So this is how it looks like. Has the life stopped or is only me? Okay, here. <laughs> Them. It's you. Okay, great. Thank you. <laughs> so this is the first. And from the from the other wire, you are making um, the shape of the tail. I like to make it like the um, big as the head is, but um, you can also play with it little if you want. But I make it the uh, same as we have here in the example. So again, just be really gently with the wire, stroke it, and then just really, you can see I'm not using any power, any pressure. So I'm taking this here, and again here I'm just, you can see it's, it's like, it shapes like itself. <laughs> You don't need to press it that much and you are making a really nice elegant form i think cats are really elegant animals so um i really like this simple lines forms of it and again uh, we are making a spiral at the end the same as we were doing with the antennas on the butterflies and also with the with the head on the dragonfly so um take it and again make a small loop okay like that and then take it and making the spiral ready so before i will ask if you are ready uh, i will ask you if you have um, anvil and uh, uh, amboss and a hammer sorry <laughs> then just uh, we will hammer the part with the ears and with the tail you can see here and here is it kind of flat it will fix the form and it will be better for us to to work with that just please attention be careful and don't never ever hammer the beads already this is a common mistake and you need to be really careful if you have already stones and beads in your jewelry piece protect them with fingers or with anything because if you even just a little bit by accident uh, hammer that it will destroy it and it's already inside and it's really pretty so i will cover my beads um, with my thumb this is also a word i, I learned last lesson <laughs> and just a hammering these parts here so i'm only putting there what i want to hammer i don't put the whole cat and then just like randomly i'm only putting there the parts i want to hammer right so here and then the tail So, and that's it. If you don't have an anvil and a hammer, I know this is like a advanced um, suppliers, uh, then just let it without. That's fine. Yes, we, this, this is a beginner's course. So we are making and trying to make it as um, easy as possible. So, and then here is a place between the body and the tail what where we will putting and repeating the new technique i call it personal zigzag technique or uh, zigzag i know um, and what we were already using for the dragonflies so we will continue with the weaving here but i also think that already now it's really nice but kind of the tail is kind of tricky you can see if you would use it it would not work you can of course like put it here so behind look it looks also really fancy so if you want you can let it like that i had it like this in the original original version because i like this this elegance 
um, elegant, but um, we will be doing the zigzag uh, viewing in between. So now, please, if you have ready the cat form from the wire, please write me to the chat that uh, it's done or you are ready or anything, and then we can uh, we can continue. So just please make text me a small a little comment that you are done. So done Facebook user. <laughs> Done. Do N. Belinsky. Ready. Nens. Ready. Martina. Fatic. Facebook user. Also, yes, this is absolute enough if you text me like like that. So that's fine. Ready, Susie. So. Let's go for the weaving. Uh, for that, you will need approximately 40 centimeters, 50.7 um, inches of the some um, of some thinner wire. I will be using like um, 0.4 or 0.3, also 26 or 28 um, um, gauge. It's up to uh, what you have uh, what you have at home. So. Like that, and again prepare the wire. So you can have a look. It looks like that over my finger. So okay, and here um, I have a small tip for you. In case that you don't have a bead um, where the thicker wire goes through or you have some others what are really fancy and what you really want to use but it doesn't uh, doesn't work then you can still you can finish here the wire make a small spire or anything you want and now we will be beginning here with the wire so you will let a little bit longer and now put the wire here inside let let a small at the beginning a longer side um, long, along the part of the wire um, on the right and then we will fix the wire here so we bend it, the wire two three times like that so okay and So, and here with this other part, in case that you don't have the, 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 the beads, you can still take this wire and put it here above, put a smaller beads there, what you want to have there, but it would not uh, fit to the uh, thicker wire. And then you can here and here you can bend it again. So this is like a possibility um, if you don't have the uh, if you have a beads what are not uh, big enough so and now we are working again with the violet so i gonna repeat it um, for you if you remember from the dragonfly uh, you need for this violet tic tac it is like an upgraded violet uh, you need a two uh, thicker wires what are like next to each other but um, there is a space in between and in this space we will be like working uh, one lace above and one lace um, under and again above and under so and if you watch it from the uh, from the top uh, then it is like that tick tack tick tack tick tack 
but in the reality there is a um, lace in between you see it so and for it it is it doesn't move that much if there would be only <laughs> wrapped wire it would be moving and it's not so stable so okay my wire is really soft Kim okay what uh, what kind of wire are you using is it aluminium because aluminium is really soft uh, to bend uh, Marius I have to start putting on these animals yes be really uh, be really happy about it so and then so we can begin so again I start here maybe I will bend the wire a few more times like that so and then I start and I am switching like here and here so I once both and making the wireless so here if you already know the technique of wireless or you were doing the beginner course with me so you go like that and this lace is really important there so and now you are making the same thing for the other side so this is really important okay it looks like that so um, again I go with the wire here above and I take it under and then just press and you see this is the pattern I want to have so same time please keep the distance keep the uh, space between because if you are um, uh, tying the wire it will happen that the wire goes uh, near and near 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 so please keep there the same distance what we have at the beginning so again here I go from above and here under and here is the lace this is important so now I'm only working and like tying the wire so okay and the same is it clear do you need to, should I show it uh, slowly one more time please text me I know I know that this is a um, little bit hard but um, if you learn this technique you will be really happy in your future by wrapping uh, life or journey because you can use it for everything and it's is such a great technique so please write me if it's on it says it's copyrighting data but it's cheap store brand uh yes okay um yes 18 gauge it's a one millimeters um but um, you don't know the material right so it can be some some metal some mixture okay so again yes so please delay stitch okay again it's super easy to work with it's just soft yes okay that's all great for training okay so I have the wire here and now I go from here here so I go put it here inside and then I take the wire and normally you would maybe just take it out like that but you need to put it inside this lace right so here inside and then you take it out and this is how the wire lace um, will happen so and then it's already the lace there so And then we go the same for the opposite side so you take it and then put it inside yes please okay 
so and then you just go one more time to the head like that right so and then maybe again one more time to the tail and then we will just at the end if you want to finish the wire we will wrap several times the tail and the head together so <laughs> wow we had just a fire truck go past here in canada as well <laughs> yes uh, this is what you can uh, what you can hear here from the uh, from the main street so i have a battery scopper mm -hmm. okay so and now please watch how to finish the wire it's really easy so you take it and just wrap it several times like that okay and then if there is enough space you can uh, put the wire inside or if it's copper you can just bend it and close it right so that then cut and then close the pie lace so it looks like that and the same time, same thing you can make here at the bottom. I just like to uh, wrap it one more time. So to make it like um, um, no, that it doesn't look that messy or how would I describe it. So just make a much, a little bit more uh, wraps like that. So. With copper, it's okay. Uh, you can finish it like that. Um, if it's, for example, stainless steel, then I would not recommend this technique. Then it's important to make there this lace and like kind of uh, close it. So, and again, like this and cut. And close that and then you can take your pliers and put it together so we are ready we are done or we have it done I hope that I'm not saying anything bad in English and it looks like that as you can see here I have this um, earring hook so you can make a two cats and make a earrings from that or you can make a pendant or a brooch or something so please write me to the comment that if you are ready and please don't leave i want to show you something and introduce you uh, something what i have prepared for you so please just text me that um, you are ready and then i can uh, show you something so mm, facebook user my granddaughter is going to love this design yes thank you and i think um, i was doing this design this course also with my czech community and um, they were also uh, making many many cats uh, like this and uh, giving them like a present or also granddaughters and also grandmas and mums and everybody just loves cats so I think um, I don't know if you uh, you are saying like they are kind two kind of people like a dog people dogs people and cats people so if you have a cats lovers uh, then um, they are for sure will be enthusiastic about fun fact starting with the tails okay that's fine 
Loving you, Dorothy. Thank you, Maurice. Marissa. So, and this is something what I want to show you and introduce you. I will also text you um, um, email about it because uh, people who attended my eight week course already knows about it. Uh, I am doing a vibe wrapping club for uh, already three years in uh, Czech Republic and Slovakia. And we are crafting every month together. We are making more complicated designs, uh, advanced techniques, but it is also for you, even if you are a beginner, because you are learning in every session. And this started by me in a corona pandemic where I couldn't make a live courses. I had uh, planned my live courses to meet people and craft together. So we are doing that since then uh, online. And I will open also the English prepping club and I would like to invite you there. I will show you the first design what we are making now in June. And this is the butterfly, but this is the more advanced butterfly what looks like this. You can already see there is um, more complicated techniques and we are also again working with the zigzag combine with the uh, violets and um, if you compare the beginners uh, butterfly so this is if you would like to update or upgrade your techniques with me uh, you are um, how to say invited or let like you can join my uh, Viber Pink Club where we will be doing a new, um, uh, more complicated designs. Um, this is a June uh, topic and for the summer I was already asking the people what they would like to do and uh, we will be voting and there is something between peacock, mod, like this dead head, and the guitar. So this will be, uh, two of them will be uh, topics of summer and then since September um, we will also uh, make some designs. I will be speaking about it. So if you want, I will put you there the link, sorry. Uh, you will find it on my website viaacademy.com by minus wrapping minus club. So you can have a look there. There are more informations how the work, how the club works, because uh, you can imagine like a, a live sessions so uh, you can join live but you can also for the for for the month uh, you are paying for you can also rewatch or the record so uh, and for the bonus because the wrapping clump is now empty later there will be more and more and more designs i am putting there my mini course what is small little virus school and little virus school it's a 19 videos about the basic techniques you will find there the violets the zigzag uh, how to um, put a rivolas in your jewelry how you are making weavings hammering spirals um, patina um, wax or all this all this uh, stuff so this will be like a bonus for you if you are uh, joining the Viber Pink Club. Uh, if you have any questions, please write me now to the chat or write me to the group. Uh, I will um, try to answer you everything. Um, but um, I have created the Viber Pink Club. Of course, I could do like the PDF tutorial for it or a um, video for it. But what I really like on a crafting and from my experience, what is important part of learning is this that we are crafting together, that we are making uh, the stuff in the uh, like a society of the same vibe rappers, same crazy people, let's say, um, because we are all enthusiastic about crafting, about crafting from the wire. And I think what is also a really important part of the process is to make the same topic. You can, of course, ask me a questions if you have any troubles with it. Uh, we will uh, have a special section of my um, website so you can um, write everything there and share also your designs there. Um, and um, it is really nice and I really feel this kind of 
energy or connections let's say between the members because if we are doing the together it is like a little bit different that if you are just sitting alone in front of some random uh, video and making the the, the stuff um, what the lecture is saying maybe um, it is also great if um, if you want to make it like um, uh, if you have a little special time for it, but I think um, there is something special about the crafting the stuff together and life and interacting with uh, with each other. And what's really great is that I did uh, these live courses in person here in Central Europe, in Prague or in Czech Republic, and it was like for maximum five, ten people. And now if we are doing that online, uh, we can reach like tens or hundreds of people in my Viber Pink Club in Check-in is over 100 people already for over three years or almost three, three years, first year already and we are doing that every month and um, it makes just fun. So please check the, my website if it would be something for you. If you have any questions to it, write me and I will be looking for the first uh, lesson for this butterfly. You will also get a template from me. The pattern uh, will be next Thursday or this Thursday, 15th, and uh, the same time, and you get the special, uh, special link um, from me. And the second, also for the butterfly, because this is a complicated, we will be doing in a two live streams, is a one week later. And this is the, how it will work every month. So every month we will meet for the live for the two times and uh, making crafting together of course we will be sharing and supporting each other so please let me know if you have oh i am signed up for the weather club thank you <laughs> i'm really excited uh if i'm now opening my email address if there is already some people signed up so okay yes you can you can rewatch it in from the record uh okay thank you susie also for the for the cat and uh, oh great i've joined thank you very much so yes and gerda is asking how was your big event last week it was so great i had no time to make a live video for you that was so busy and look i felt a little bit like a celebrity there because i when i just left the, i had the courses there and i have just left for toilet on something and people were like um taking photos with me and saying uh, like they have my books my courses and uh, it was really really nice and incredible evening i will show you a photos it was the biggest vibe rappers um, meeting in uh, Central Europe, I would say, or let's say in, in Czech and Slovakia, people were also traveling many, many kilometers to meet us. And I'm so happy about it. And the atmosphere was so great. And there were people from making the decorations, the traditional art, um, to uh, to the jewelry and um, I will share you photos and thank you for asking and I would be happy if we can make it in some bigger city or if we can maybe bring this evening and this energy to the USA or to other countries so let's just start now and uh, I'm really um, happy about it so okay finish great there are so many comments I don't um I don't manage to read all of that. So can you show us your earrings? Yes. Okay. <laughs> my earrings. This is my um, collection. Minimalistic. Um, because I'm also a goldsmith. Um, I'm learning. Um, and this is my minimalistic collection. This is a silver. And I wanted to make something really small and elegant. Uh, but at the same time also like kind of vibrant so here is the thinner wire and here I really love this structure with the hammer link so these are my uh, my minimalistic um, collection I didn't offer it um, on Etsy yet I, I'm selling it already here on, on here but if you would be interesting just text me I will try to um, put it on to Etsy congratulations thank you Lisa Oh, uh, okay. Obsessed. <laughs> Love those. Thank you. I have also smaller. 
and I have also a, a pendant to it. I will try to share share with you. I don't have it now. Okay, so uh, please, um, if you have any questions to my new open wire wrapping club, what is already running for three years um, in Czech, uh, so I already kind of know how the structure look like and i try to describe but of course i know you need to try so if you are unsure you can just book for one month and then you can have a look if you won't have too longer uh subscription and i opened to longer subscription only till end of the years because i also want to have a look how it works in english for me and for you of course if you can understand me and um then for the next year um i will have a look so this is also like a, something really new for me and i'm so excited because i have really uh, over 100 people in czech like 120 130 and i'm so excited because it can be also like 100 in international or maybe even more so um this will be and this is so much like to say my dream to spread this art of vibe wrapping and also of crafting and um, this kind of meditation if you are doing i don't want to use a uh, word therapy because i'm really careful about it uh, but this kind of relaxation and meditation with crafting and the same time motivation to make it in the group of the uh, same people uh, so it works just fine so let's try how it works in english with all of us on the internet so okay Gerda, thank you <laughs> i'm really so also, um, excited so enough for today i left my master jeweler style thank you so okay maybe i will list it on etsy for you uh, uh i didn't have time for it we were preparing all this stuff helen and you know the great system thank you thank you helen for joining thank you everybody else for joining um i am more and more comfortable in english but still you can hear uh that i'm learning um with you so um i am trying <laughs> Thank you for joining. And um, I need to log in or sign up. I can't figure out how to sign. Just go to this website and you will find all the information uh, about it. And you can choose between one month subscription or a uh, longer subscription till end of the year. Okay, thank you. Thank you also, everybody. I will also put the post uh, to the group. Please share there your pictures, your cats, and then after that maybe tomorrow or something like that, i will make a new june challenge and the june challenge is to make this free animals so you can post a photo of your cat butterfly and dragonfly in one photo or if you have three different you can also put three different photos and this is our challenge for the june so thank you everybody uh, good night then it starts so uh we are starting so you can already sign now you will find there the little bar school and the first uh, uh uh live stream is this thursday 15th and then one week later 22nd so this will be two and uh, um, in july it's again 13th and 20th so it's in the middle the two thursdays um in the middle of um, every month. Okay, thank you. Have a great day. Thank you for joining. And